Hello, my dear doctor. I would like to talk on a very important topic. That is the polyarthritis nodosa. We call the PAN, that is a pad. Yes, for the discussion purpose, then I would like to talk on the PAN. PAN means the PAN means the polyarthritis nodosa. So let's see what is written in your nose. Polyarthritis nodosa is a vasculitis affecting medium-sized arteries with necrotizing inflammation leading to aneurysm formation. So you can circle the aneurysm, the word. Pen is more common in the middle-aged man. So yes, the circle, the middle-aged man, and is associated the hepatitis B infections. Some of the features of the pen is very important. We must know. In 1990, the ACR, the American College of Rheumatology, established criteria for research purposes in order to differentiate PAN from other forms of vasculitis. A committee of ACR physicians selected 10 disease features of PAN, means the 10 diagnostic criteria. In order of the PAN to be diagnosed, at least three of the 10 ACR criteria should be present. When radiographic or pathological diagnosis of vasculitis is made, Yes, so we need the 3 out of 10 diagnostic criteria to be present. Yes, the 10 diagnostic criteria include weight loss of 4 kg or more, levito reticularis, testicular pain or tenderness, myalgia or leg weakness or tenderness, mononeuropathy or polyneuropathy, diastolic blood pressure greater than 90 mm of mercury, Elevated blood urea nitrogen means a man or creatinine level unrelated to dehydration or obstruction. Presence of hepatitis B surface antigen or antibody in serum. Arteriogram demonstrate aneurysms or occlusion of the visceral arteries. Circle aneurysms. Biopsy of small or medium sized artery containing the polymorphonuclear neutrophils. The strong associations of MPA with ANCA, as well as the pathologic and clinical differences in between the MPA and PAN, demonstrate that PAN and MPA are likely separate disorders. It was not until 1994 that the histologic criteria to distinguish the PAN from MPA means the microscopic polyangiitis were defined at the International Chapel Hill Consensus Conference means the CHCC. According to the CHCC means the Chapel Hill Consensus Conference criteria, the presence of vasculitis in arterioles, venules, and capillaries defines the diagnosis of MPA. Although small and large uh, medium-sized arteries may, be, may also be involved in MPA and acts with the diagnosis of the PAN, means the polyarthritis nodosa. So I will listen very carefully before going to the full detailed criteria, diagnostic criteria onto the board and the SS boxes, I'd like to talk on the single talk that you must remember. What is that? PAN, P-A-N, I put the A-N equal to aneurysm, my dear. Means that single word that we need to remember, the PAN is an aneurysm. A-N for aneurysm means the arterial aneurysm. And the artery is usually involved, right? The visceral arteries. As already learned, the PAN is a medium-sized PAN. Means that I ride with, with the medium-sized PAN means the pan is a medium vessel vasculitis. So what I say, so medium vessel, the visceral arteries, once again, the visceral arteries will have the aneurysm. So once again, the single talk that we need to remember, P-A-N, A-N for aneurysm. And this aneurysm can be demonstrated by an arteriography. So once again, A for arteriography, A for aneurysm that we must remember. So the single box that I'd like to start here, the box I'm writing, the SS box. So the PAN 
he killed to once again any reason so what i say that a n is nothing but the any reason so the single box that we need to remember and these aneurysm can be seen by yes a for artery graphy and these artery graphy will demonstrate the aneurysms of the arteries especially the visceral arteries yes we can see that if you do the renal angiography that will show the yes the micro aneurysms renal artery micro aneurysms now I'd like to talk on the diagnostic criteria, my dear. So let's talk. The SS box of the pen. So polyarteritis nodosa, we will see the diagnostic criteria is said that the more than three out of the ten criteria, if it is present, then the diagnosis is done. So what do you put the diagnosis? the mnemonics that we use the pan lost this pan lost will be helpful to remember all them together the diagnostic criteria so let's see how this is pan lost will be helpful so say with me pan is pan lost say with me pan equal to pan lost so let's start with the pan p P is the greatest bundle pack of the pan. What is that? So I'm saying the P is a pain. Pan is a pain. If I'm writing the pan is a pain. I'm writing the pan is a pain. I'm writing the pan is a pain. So we are once the P bundle pack says once again starts with the pain, pain, pain. So say with me, pain, pain, pain. P for pain, pain, pain. So what does it mean the pain? Pain, first pain is a, yes, the testicular pain or tenderness. The way I'm writing, my dear, just follow me, that would be helpful. Second pain, yes, the pain, this is the muscle pain. Or we can say the muscle tenderness, we can Call this is myalgia. We can write the myalgia. And especially the pain happen in the leg pain, means the leg tenderness. So we can write the leg pain, leg tenderness. Leg tenderness, or even sometimes the patients comes up with the leg weakness. The way I'm writing my just write them all together next pain yes this is the pain for neuropathy neuropathic pain so we can write the pain is due to the poly neuropathy this poly neuropathy yes means the peripheral neuropathy that will be happen that is usually the sensory motor neuropathy is more and more common than that of the mononeuritis multiplex. The way I have written, just mind, just follow me. So once again, say with me, P stands on the pain, pain, and pain. Pain is yes, the testicular pain, pain, muscle pain. And pain, once again, there is a neuropathic pain, means the polyneuropathy. So P bundle back, once again, we put the P, so yes, there is a pain, there is a pain, and also the polyneuropathy. So this is the first bundle pack of the P that we need to remember. Next, another bundle pack of the P, that is, we will write the positive, then write down the pressure, and polymorphonuclear neutrophils. The, this is the next bundle pack, positive pressure PMNS. Say with me, my dear, pain, pain, pain. And second P bundle pack, 
That is the positive pressure PM minus. Positive pressure PM minus. Say with me, positive pressure PM minus. Positive means yes. Positive means that is the P anka positivity. P anka positivity that can be found in twenty percent cases. So we can write the P A N. Panka, panka, pan, right? So once again, the 20% cases, yes, can be positive. And also another positivity that we need to remember, yes, that is the HBS. Means the hepatitis B surface antigen can be positive. And this can be found in 30% cases or any evidence of NTHBS means, yes, any evidence of antibody to surface antigen of hepatitis B. So hepatitis B, once again, positivity, we need to, we need that for the diagnostic criteria. So yes, once again, the pain, 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 these are the bundle packs. So here is a positive bundle pack is the two important things that we need to remember. Next point is the pressure, my dear. So once again, the pressure means diastolic blood pressure. It is written in the more than 90 millimeter of mercury. Means the hypertension, diastolic blood pressure. So if I'm writing the B plus, another criteria, the blood urea nitrogen is increased or serum creatinine yes increased means the renal impairment so once again this blood united and serum creatinine is increased just write down the polymorphonuclear neutrophils is a biopsy findings biopsy of the small arteries and medium-sized arteries Yes, of the visceral arteries, especially visceral arteries, that we will get the findings of the PMNS, that is the polymorphonuclear neutrophils there. So once again, the pressure bundle pack, and this is the polymorphonuclear neutrophils biopsy findings. So here is the second P bundle pack, is the positive pressure and PMNS. So this is all about the P. So once again, P bundle, pain, 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 and second bundle with positive pressure, PMNS. Now let's talk on A N, all right? Now let's talk on A4. Once again, we can write the A4 aneurysm. I said the aneurysm that can be seen by the arteriogram, demonstrated by the arteriogram. So aneurysm and arteriography demonstrate the visceral arteries aneurysm. And these aneurysms, we can write a little bit further, these aneurysms leading to, as for example, the renal artery aneurysm, if I'm writing RAA, this leads to renal artery thrombosis. Just write down the way I'm writing renal artery thrombosis. And this thrombosis leading to the microinfarcts, renal microinfarcts, means the kidney microinfarcts leading to renal micro infarcts these micro infarcts leading to once again renal hypertension we can write the renal hypertension and renal impairment yes my dear, renal impairment so this is a bundle pack of renal artery aneurysm leading to renal thrombosis then the renal microinfarcts, then the renal hypertension, 
as well as the renal impairment. So this is the reason of rising blood urea nitrogen. This is the start, the way that we are getting the aneurysms. Next is an N. We will write the N stands on. Once again, we already learned that neutrophils, if I'm writing the polymorphonuclear neutrophils. So we can write these biopsy findings, my dear, as we already learned that N for neutrophils must to be remembered. Another important write that we will write now within the bracket of the N bundle pack, what does it really mean? Within the bracket, we will write that the necrotizing means this is necrotizing variety that the findings will be found and so we are writing that this is non-granulometers. Non-granulometers. We are writing another important that we will get the necrosis and this is nothing but the fibrinoid necrosis. And once again, we will write that the very important point that is the no glomerulonephritis. The way I have written, my dear, just follow me. So once again, the necrotizing, non granulomatous necrosis, non glomerulonephritis. We can write something like that. So that will be helpful. This is the bundle pack of the N bundle pack. So this is about the pan. P, A, and N bundle pack. Now I'd like to talk here, the lost, what does this lost really means? Lost really means, once again, loss of weight. Yes, more equal four kgs. Loss of weight, and L stands in the L bundle pack. We can write the L for levido reticularis. So this is basically the lost means the L bundle pack. So this is L, this is L, so this is the diagnostic criteria that we can add all together, all together here. So that's what about the pen lost, my dear. So let's talk a little bit further. As I started with the single talk of the first box that we need to remember the pen, polyarteries notice that we need to remember the AN for aneurysm. We must to know the single talk, means the arterography will show the aneurysms. Next to the pen lost. So the pen loss, once again, the P, 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 means the pain, pain, pain. And then the, you see the pain, 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 pain. And is the positive pressure and PMNS. This is the two bundle packs of the P's that we need to remember. And second is A for aneurysm and N for neutrophils. These are the biopsy findings. And very important biopsy findings that can differentiate from the different vasculitis as well. So here is a non granulomatous is a very important differential diagnosis for microscopic polyangitis. Sorry, for the granulomatous polyangitis. And non granulomatous once again is in DDs of microscopic polyangitis. So writing them here, it will be helpful to differentiate from the different vasculitis as well. So the summary talk of the pen is a pen lost. So pen is a pen lost, and once again the P for P bundle packs for the pain, pain, and pain.
positive pressure and P minus. A for aneurysm and for neutrophils. And L for once again means the lost. L for loss of weight and L for libido reticularis. So somebody talk, my dear. Once again, the pan lost and the single talk that we need to remember arteriography will demonstrate the aneurysm a for arteriography a for aneurysm must be known so once again the summary talk that i'm saying here yes the pan lost polyarteries is nosa equal to pan equal to pan lost p stands on the pain 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 and p stands on the positive pressure and polymorphonuclear neutrophils. This about the P and then A stands for the aneurysm, N stands for neutrophils, and also there are long list of N. N means necrotizing, N means non granulomatous N means necrosis, N means non or no glomerulonephritis. non glomerulonephritis to differentiate from the GPA, because GPA is a glomerulonephritis polyangitis. And no glomerulonephritis is an MPA, is a glomerulonephritis can cause the renal impairment. But here is a non granulometer, non glomerulonephritis. But here, why this happening, the renal hypertension, we can say, yes, you see the bundle plaque because of the aneurysms leading to thrombosis, leading to microinfarcts, leading to hypertension into renal impairment and that leads to yes the blood urea nitrogen and serum creatinine is increased and also this written that is unrelated to obstruction or maybe any dehydration means excluding other causes of renal impairment so yes the n for neutrophils as i said and l for loss of weight and l for once again libido reticulari so yes somebody talk once again the pen equal to pen lost my dear I hope that you people's ride enjoyed these lectures and that will be helpful to remember all them together and for exams as well. Thank you, thank you very much, my dear. Thank you once again. If you like our videos, don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell button to get more updates.